of the Legend of Gold Mega. Very special to me. So everyone to me is a gift. And um, I have to laugh at myself because someone sent me a text and I don't, you know, my thoughts are a little different. <laughs> yes, they're a little different. And um, it was very touching. And so when I text back, when I text back to this individual, then I said, and I don't know where it came from, but the Lord has a sense of humor. And he said, well, I said, well, she had to go home because the street lights came on in heaven. So she had to go home. You know how it was when we were growing up. You could play outside until your heart's desired, but when them street lights came on, I don't care what you're in the middle of, you gotta go. And just went on home. If you if you were close, okay, then you kind of walked and traveled. If you were down the street or around the corner, you went into a run or a sprint because you know that they're going to be waiting for you to come through the door. So um, that just took over me when I said, well, she had to go because the street lights were on. So he calls her home. That's okay. I'm going to be all right because yeah, I have to trust him. I have to trust him. And I do. And I'm loving, I'm loving, you know what? It's when you're about to lose someone. Understand that sadness and the tears. Well, as you get a little older, you get a little bit more experience, and you live life a little more, and then you start uh, studying the Word of God, and you're being taught by, you know, you go to Bible study, and you're being taught by a pastor, as well as your parents, who, as long as they have a relationship with God, as you get a little older, then you realize. No, even though it's a wonderful and beautiful occasion to the birth of a child, there's, there's some sadness because of how this world is. But when someone dies, then that's the joyous occasion because they're going to be in the presence of the Lord. They have... L l listen, everything that happens here in our daily lives or... If what you know, we have some good times, some good moments, some great memories, all of that. But this is a hellish place, and so for a child to be born into these times, not to say, listen, if you're planning a family, God bless you, let that happen because the babies are a gift, you know, let that happen. I'm just saying that in life and death, that um, life would be the one we're a little saddened and scared. And death actually is a beautiful, can be a beautiful thing, you know. It, think about it. it. Come on, man. Listen, I'm going to take a quick little break. You are listening to WKAX 1500 AM, the winning, wor <laughs> Here we are Friday. the winning worship radio show. Happy Friday to you. We'll be right back.
Okay. Hello. Welcome back. Mm, a few adjustments to make. <laughs> um, it is Friday, and you are listening to WKAX 1500 AM, the Winning Worship Radio Show. Um, let us not forget our sister station, WNXV. 105.1 FM, the music muscle of the shows. I will have my cheat sheet. You know what? This is going to be an interesting rest of the day because I am just like tongue tied for some reason. I know the reason. I'll, maybe I'll find somewhere, someone finding in a corner. Um, but yeah, so I wanted you to know it's not only just about advertising. I wanted you to know there are many ways that we could, um, that you could hear us or see us. Um, we have a Facebook account, YouTube, uh, our website, and before the guests come in or after, I will share all that with you. We have YouTube. Um, they're so, and then we have so many different shows that you can listen to, and so many ways that you can listen to us. Instagram, everything is popping in my head right now. So, um, before we get off the air, I'm gonna say it ten more times, at least seven, so that you can get it. But we we're, we're here every morning. The uh, WKAX, the Winning Worship Radio Show. We're here every day, Monday through Friday, from eight to nine, and then on our sister station. From 12 to 2 is the lunchtime hour with the old school preacher, the church secretary, and the choir president. Okay, they're on from 12 to 2 on 105.1 FM, the music muscle of the shows. And then at 5 o'clock, we have uh, the Montreal hour. But it's actually the Drive at 5, the Ain't It Main show with Montreal. And he's on from 5 to 7. Again, on our sister station, 105.1 FM, the music muscle of the shows. And uh, so I, I heard, uh, uh, I promise you I need some rest. There's a lot going on. I've had an interesting, uh, interesting week. Okay, let's try this again. You can reach me every weekday morning again, Monday through Friday from 8 to 9, okay? Um... We start your day off here, or I try to start your day off with positivity. I try to, um, <coughs> excuse me, I, I want to lift your spirits. And um, even though, like, I've been kind of going through a little something, even though my spirit may de- be down, I don't feel bad. Not real, not not like I thought. If I would have allowed it to keep, uh, keep thinking on it. Yes, I'm gonna think on it. I'm gonna miss my friend. There's a lot going on. I'm, but, but I'm so thankful. I'm thankful that he had given me her as a gift of friendship. And um, so with with everyone who's going to be going through a life and death situation, or listen to this, even if it's something to do with um, a friendship or a relationship of, you know, like between family, you know, or the friendship, that uh, that could have you grieving because you want to build it back up. You know, we don't have any time to waste here on this planet. We don't. So I suggest, and I strongly urge you and strongly suggest that you uh, get it right. You know, get, get, if you have a relationship with Christ, build it up to be stronger and stronger and stronger. Whether you live to see tomorrow or not, get your business straight today. Start with today making up your mind. This is the way I want to go, okay? I'm being a little pushy on that because I want everyone to have a relationship, your own relationship with Christ so that, you know, <laughs> look, I say this a lot, and I mean it. I'm not missing out on my dinner reservations in heaven. I do not plan on it. So since I know what I need to do, then, you know, and I fall short. We all do. But but then it's like, okay, got to get it back together. You know, we have to, um, 
a lot of people think they could do it on their own, and for a little while maybe you can in your reading and studying and having a relationship with Christ, but there's nothing like fellowshipping with one another. Uh, Bible study is so important, it's so important, so that you can have a better understanding of his word and the plans that he has for your life. So we we have to get our business in order, man. I mean, uh, just thinking about, uh, you know, when you lose somebody, did you, was everything in order? Do you have any regrets? I wish I would have done more, said more. I, you know, I wish I would listen before we got to this point, you know, that we can't even talk about it. So, no, I mean, everything ties into everything because if you do have Christ in you, if you do have a relationship uh, with him, with our Father, you would want to do these things. You want to do these things. You, I have no, you know what, I'm so thankful that up until this very minute, the only sadness that would be within me is uh, I'm a misser. I just going to miss hanging out or talking or whatever the case may be. But I, do, you know, I don't have any regrets. We said every day, you know, we talked and, you know, she knows I loved her. I know she loved me. We didn't, we pretty much didn't leave anything unsaid. <laughs> I can't think of anything, but, you know, um, that's why it's important that we develop our relationships with the ones that God has blessed us with, who he has blessed us with. And not only that, these relationships here on earth, but his. Oh, get your relationship so tight. I want to see you at the dinner table. I really do. You know, so, but in going back to our scripture, I know I gave it to you. I'm sure you wrote it down. That was Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust him. When you can't trust nobody else, I promise you, trusting in God it's, I mean, it's, oh, God, now I'm having a great moment. I'm having a great moment. So trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. And Philippians is a good one, too, 4, Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Do not be anxious about anything. Don't be anxious about anything worried or anything like that about anything. But in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Everybody has their own way of speaking to the Lord because that's the beauty of it. You have your own personal uh, relationship with Him. So I, I can only say... Just tell them, you know, just like you're trying to get someone to talk to that friend again or to, you know, their significant other. You're like, go ahead, you can do it, you can talk. You know, they love you, they're willing to listen. So go on over there and talk to Johnny. Go on over there and talk to Sally. Get it right, get it together. We ain't got no time to lose. I'll get to it tomorrow. Oh, God. Remember, tomorrow's not promised to you? But you're right now. This is gonna, you know what, I'm telling you something, this is going to make me search myself and make sure that I haven't, uh, and see, and I won't know if you're mad at me <laughs> or disturbed with me unless you tell me. I pray not, but if so, let's work this out. We don't, don't look, we don't, don't allow the devil to win. Just, it's just that simple. If you want to look at it in a sports way, you know, uh, if you want to, you're trying to win the Super Bowl, the World Series, you know, whatever you're trying to do, you, because you got to leave your hashtag winning. So, look, just, no, I, I just refuse to let him win. And yes, I have some things going on in my life. And yes, I got things I may need to change up my ways or do, I, yes, best believe that, but I'm going to tell you one dog one thing, I'm not going to let the devil win, I promise you that, so, you know, he can step to me if he want to, because we have the word of God, we have the word, 
Okay. Oh, this just popped out at me. Je I like Jeremiah 29 and 11, don't you? I really do. It's just popped out at me. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and to and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. I was about to jump the gun because I'm excited about that. Why in the world? <laughs> oh, we know what the world's about. Uh, why in the world would you just give in to uh, defeat or just give in to... You see, the devil's so tricky, so you don't even know who may be behind it. But when you know that... He says in his word, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. He has plans. There are things already laid out. We have to trust him, trust the process, just trust him and get that relationship with him because I can't talk to him about your business. I can pray for you. I can, and even if I don't know what it is, I can pray for you. And all, whatever desires in your heart that if it, if it's the Lord's will, I pray that for you. If something's going on with someone in your home, if somebody, you know, we, th those are the things, but those intimate prayers and those things that only you and God know about, just say, Lord, I have been, I have been in this situation for as long as I can remember, but you said in your word that you have plans for me. Please give me holding on power because I trust you. We're going back to trust. I trust you. Yeah, people are looking at me funny, saying I'm not, you know, she's this age. She don't have nothing. She, she ain't going nowhere. You know, uh-uh. If I don't receive it until I'm 85, he has a plan for me. A plan to prosper me. And even if it's at 85 years old, he's going to make sure before I leave, before he calls me home, that his will be done. That uh, all those plans he has for me and th that my assignment is fulfilled. So, mm-mm. And I don't want to rush God. And I don't want to become impatient. If I know he has plans for me and plans to prosper me, then all I need to do is keep doing and wait with expectation, anticipation, and excitement that the Lord is going to take care of me. I need to keep doing what I'm doing. I need to stay in his word. I need to talk to him. Father, from time to time, I'm, I may even come to you with the same thing. And depending on what that same thing is, it's like, Lord, I know you're tired of me. You know, but maybe I do need a little bit more patience. Maybe I do need whatever it is you need. So, um, I, I don't know. That excited me right now. I, yeah. Well, I know the plans I have for you. So since I know he has plans, it, let that be, listen, and don't get relaxed and just go, well, he said he has plans for me and plans to prosper, not to harm me. So, you know, I have that hope and that I'm just going to wait and do what in the meantime? Okay? Don't just sit there. The Lord's going to provide. Well, yeah, he will. He's going to provide you with the job. He's going to provide you with the skills to do certain things. I mean, we can't just, like, sit around. It's action. Okay? I'm going to hold on to that one. Well, there's a few of them I'm going to hold on to. And listen, I like this, too. It says, praying Praying is one of the best ways to receive God's guidance. Whether you're looking for a new job or choosing a spouse. You, you know what? In making decisions, 
even decisions about your own life, your children, or you know, your significant other trying to make decisions, um, we can't do anything without him. We can't. So we have to go to him for guidance. We have to go to him for direction. Sometimes we jump the gun. Now there's, there's a couple of scenarios in that. Sometimes you jump the gun, and amazingly, and the Lord was in it, it works out for you. But sometimes when you're about to make decisions, you have to think on that thing. You have to think about it, pray about it, Lord, do you want me over here? Should I do this? Do a little research on it. Is that move good for you? I don't know. All I can say is, in, 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 de in decisions and guidance, seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. That's, that's all one can do. Oh, and then they have, okay, <clears throat> I'm going to give you these three. A prayer for wisdom, if you'll excuse me. I'm a little parched, a little dry. Excuse me. And thank you. Now I can go a couple more miles with you, I think. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. I found these, and they're, they're short. And they're in, uh, there's three of them. Actually, there's more than that. But as I was scrolling, it came up in the threes. You know how I feel about the threes. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So this prayer is for wisdom. Let's read it together. Dear God, I look to no one else. I'm sorry. Dear God, I look to no one else for wisdom. I humbly ask for your help in making one of the most important decisions in my life because I don't know how to make it without you. Please give me direction and wisdom so I can make the right decision and bring glory to your name. Amen. You know, I'm going to read it again. And you know, I'm going to tell you my little points in it. I simply love this. I, I don't know how to make it without you. Right there. Lord, I come to you because I can't make it without you. I don't want to make it without you. So, I, I oh, yep, I like that. And then please give me direction and wisdom so I can make the right decision. You don't just want to jump into any and everything. At least, you know, check it out and find out if that's good for you. Is that fitting for your family? Is that a wise decision? You know, um, ho hopefully it's nothing that would hurt somebody. Dear God, I look to no one else for wisdom. I humbly ask for your help in making one of the most important decisions of my life. I don't even see how, how you think you're going to make it unless you do consult with him in everything that we do. Prayer for patience. Okay. You think you're patient. No. Uh, dear God, dear God, I come to you because I asked you for the patience to keep, <laughs> keep myself from making rash decisions. That almost needs to be up there with the wisdom part. Uh, dear God, I come to you because I ask you for your patience to keep myself from making rash decisions. Give me the calmness. Give me the calmness and composure for every decision in my life, big or small. God, grant me patience even if the road seems long and stop me there. Oh, yes. And stop me from rushing my choices. Okay. Of course, I like this. I like, 
I like all scripture. I like all prayer. It's just that some of them, when you're reading or studying, they really stick with you. They Some of them are just for you. You know, I'm going to have to back it up, and then I'm going to combine the two, and then I'm going to, oh, yeah, I just had a good thought. Okay. Okay, we all need to, because I, I think I might have said this earlier, but dear God, I come to you because I ask for the patience to keep myself from making rash decisions. Again, when you're sitting there and you're thinking, it, uh, see, as they're making rash decisions, so you have to sit there and say, Lord, please. I mean, every individual is different, so you... Look, I, 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 I would be lost. I'm just going to break this down. I don't know. Some people, um, because I don't know if they have a relationship with God or not, but you see some people, they just go ahead and plan their lives and make, you know, whatever decisions they make, g good or bad, but let's go with the good. Did you just jump in that without consulting your daddy? You know, as as uh, little kids, I mean, do they at a certain age just start making decisions and doing what they want to do without talking to you first, mom or dad? You know, you oh, you think you're grown and you want to try this? Hey, you don't want the Lord to leave you alone. You don't you, <laughs> you don't want to think that uh, you did all this by yourself. No, you didn't. We do nothing without him has already orchestrated things. Mm -mm. Prayer for direction. Dear God, so many choices. Here we go. So many choices are laid out in front of me. Please grant me the Holy Spirit's direction and guidance to resolve this problem. It is through you that I keep I'm sorry, it is through you that I know where to go. I humbly request your wisdom. It goes back to wisdom, and that was the third one. That was direction, but it went back to um, needing his wisdom. So I'm going to, let me see if this flows all right, you know, to combine all three of them. I think I'm going to try. What can it hurt? It can't. It's It's scripture. Okay, I mean, it's the, it's a prayer. So, here we go. Dear God, I look to no one else for wisdom. I ask for your help in making one of the most important decisions in my life because I don't know how to make it without you. Please give me direction and wisdom so I can make the right choice and bring glory to your name. Dear God, I, I come to you because I ask you for patience to keep myself from making rash decisions. Give me the calmness, give me the calmness and composure for every decision in my life, big or small. God, grant me patience even if the road seems long and stop me from rushing my choices. Dear God, so many choices are laid out in front of me. Please grant me the Holy Spirit's direction and guidance to resolve this problem. It is through you that I know where I, I'm sorry, it is through you that I know where to go, so I humbly request your wisdom. Amen. Okay, that you know what? That was the prayers for the wisdom, patience, and direction. In case you're wondering where you are, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know you know where you are. You're in, at your home. You're in your car. You're at work. You know, and you're just so you know where you are. You're in the com in the company of Janet. And you're listening to WKAX 1500 AM, the winning worship radio show. Every day from 8 to 9, 
you can find me here. I will, I will do my best to uh, read scripture and prayer, try to uplift you, get you going for your day. It is Black History Month, so I'm going to um, give you some of that. It's, I try to squeeze it all within the hour so that, you know, you'll, when you give it a go out there, if you're not already out there, that um, you feel a little oomph. Like, I hope this touches someone, you know, because I, I'm not going to, I can't stress enough about getting in a relationship with Christ. Let me let me invite you out to church if you if you don't mind. Listen, if you have a home church, please attend the church. Okay, attend the Bible studies. But if you do not have a home church and you're looking for a home church, or if right now you just say no, I'm not really so much looking for a church, but I would love to visit. All we need is for you to just put a foot in the door. I'm just saying this. I'm just saying this. But we got you. <laughs> because, listen, just come and say, let me tell you where we're at. I, I really am, g well, it's not a challenge. It's just something that I really, it would tickle me and I would love it. I would really love it. Galilee Missionary Baptist Church is at 23001 County Road 14. 23001 County Road 14 in Florence. Our times of Sunday service is 9 o'clock, um, uh, but you're welcome to come about 8.30, come into the sanctuary, and just have a sit down and just stay in peace and meditate if you like and wait to receive the word of God from the man of God, our pastor is Pastor Michelle T. Knox. If you think you're running late and you said, I really wanted to snack on something or I need a cup of coffee, we have it ready for you, I promise. That's why I said come in about 8.30 if you like, and we'll provide the coffee, the juices, the water, the cinnamon rolls, honey buns, whatever we have laid out there. It is for you, okay? So uh, just say, oh, my God, we, look, we have this amount of time. I don't have time to make breakfast, babe. I ain't got time to make a cup of coffee, but they got it all there. Let's go. Let's go. Okay? That's okay. You can do it like that if you want to. Uh, it'll hold you over until uh, the afternoon, or w we're usually out of there before the afternoon. So um, Bible study. Can't stress it enough. We'll always talk about Bible study. Um Look, I love going to church. I promise you, I love going to church. But I also love Bible study because it's teaching me. It's explaining things to me. You're more than welcome to ask any questions you may have. Um, you know, because you much rather you leave with an understanding than not. You understand what I'm saying? That makes sense. Um, Bible studies are every Wednesday. And at 6 o'clock, is our feeding time so that's our dinner hour you're welcome you are welcome to come and join us for dinner and that's again at six o'clock and bible study is at six thirty. um maybe on the next break or monday <laughs> i would find out if uh and when if we're still doing the um exercising the stretching because we're trying to get healthy we hashtag winning but we want to hashtag healthy living as well you know so Wednesday night Bible study, y he teaches in such a way that you will understand it, I promise, because that's a me thing. Talk to me, A, B, C, and one, two, three. I need to get this thing, how to apply it to my life. So come on out at 6 o'clock. Now, if we are still doing the stretching things, and I believe we will be, it's at 5.30. Then at 6 o'clock, we're going to have our dinner. And then at 6.30... It will be a uh, Bible study. And don't feel shy. I mean, there's more than enough food. That's the other thing besides rushing on a, a Sunday morning. Look, if you tell them, look, we ain't got time to stop. Just let's grab the kids. Let's go. You know, they're providing dinner every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Okay? So you don't have to worry about that. Just come on out. Y if it's your first time, you'll think it's your fifth. <laughs> I mean, we're just that friendly and we like to talk to people and make sure that you got enough baby you got enough 
you'll be fine. So come on out and join us at Galilee Missionary Baptist Church. Sunday services at 9 and Bible study at 6.30, but join us for dinner at 6, okay? You'll have a good time. And and with uh, let me just say this quickly. With Bible study, uh, we do laugh in there. We we do laugh, and we, he brings us to an understanding on everything. So um, just come on out and join us, okay? The other thing is with advertising with uh, Knox Media Group, listen, we have so much going on here for you, just for you. And with everything that we have to offer, I promise you it's affordable. And do you know why? Because we work with your budget. Whatever your budget is, it may be different than company B and company C, and that's okay because we're, we're there. It's a personal thing. Knox Media Group is a family affair, okay? So if you would like to advertise with us, please give us a call at 256-712-2887, okay? Anyone who picks up the phone could be of some help to you and allow us here to uh, represent you well in your advertising because – like I said earlier, w it would be not only here at WKAX 1300 AM, but our uh, sister station, 105.1 FM, the music muscle of the shoals. So you have those two, but that's not it. Okay, we have a website. We have Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. Um, did I mention YouTube? We have so many different uh, uh, Spotify yeah, you know, they're coming to me slowly. But we have many ways to do your advertising and so um it is affordable. It is affordable. Again, it is affordable because we're gonna work with your budget. Whatever your budget allows you to do, we're gonna work with you and get that advertising out, okay? And um if you say, Well, I mm, that's a little much. Talk with whoever you're talking to. We can we can do this. We can make your business grow even bigger and better than it is because we have every major platform plus two radio stations i'm gonna slip on over to the churches listen churches we're in this together you know what the fight's about we're in this together the church packages are different than the business packages but what's the same about both packages is that we work with your budget so, for the churches who are listening, get with your pastor because he's going to have the final say, so it's his decision. So, yeah, if, if you're a church member, a deacon, an usher, you know, wh whoever you are, go to your pastor and say, you know what, maybe we should do some advertising with them because we need to know where you're located, who pastors that church, what times are their services, what up and coming events do they have? We need to know all this so that we could help get you out there so we could fill these churches back up. You know what I'm saying? And let people use their gifts and just come and praise and worship God to all the things he does for us on a daily basis. Well, I, I can't see he ain't done nothing for me. It Didn't he wake you? But ooh, I almost said something. Moment of silence. Okay, we're back. Didn't he wake you up this morning? Doesn't he provide food on your table? Yeah, I work for that. He gives you good health. He keeps you uh, safe. He keeps you in a place to where you can get up and work. So, yes, through him, you're doing all these things. But believe me, he could sit you down someplace, and then somebody else will be providing. Okay, I done just went way on out there, didn't I? Listen, call us at 256-712-2887 and allow us churches and businesses to represent you well. Be part of our family here at Knox Media Group and let us do some advertising for you. Now, I have to jump on something else because I really like, and I, I'm going to try to show you as I sit down, your life remembered. Yep. Your Life Remembered, where we create T-shirts, and I hope that you could see this one. These are one of the 
many, many shirts that we can do. And that's at Your Life Remembered. And we can, I believe there's up to three photographs, three pictures of a human being that you could put on the shirts, okay? Um, if it's over 20 shirts that you're trying to order, then it is twenty dollars each shirt until you become until you get to like two x, three x, four x. So therefore, it would be twenty one dollars, twenty two, twenty three. You you understand what I'm saying? But listen, we can work all that out with you. We do blankets, we do cups, we do. There's so much that we we do it. Your life remembered. Oh, okay. Well, listen. Um, I believe we have a guest coming. We only have 10 minutes, so I'm going to take a quick little break, and we'll be right back. This is WKAX 1500 AM, the winning worship radio show. Okay, what am I doing now? <laughs> okay, listen, because I, uh, I, I know that's what I said, I'm going to talk to you because I wanted you to know, I, I don't have, yes, yeah, sir, <laughs> I love you, uh, um, I don't have the information in front of me, but I'm excited about it because from what I understand, this is your first annual, what is it, uh, marriage no, it's actually, we've done it uh, several years. We This first one since COVID. Oh, okay. Yeah, I My think the last time we did one was 2019. Okay. Uh -huh. But this year it is, um, we're doing it in Sheffield at the um, Logan Room. Okay. Next um, to the red clay table on the main street in Sheffield. Tonight begins at 7. Um, it's free. So any, any really? One couple wants to come. Come on now. And um, tomorrow it starts at 9, and we're going to do breakout sessions. Tonight we have uh, a gospel comedian coming from Birmingham, Bishop Lawrence Jackson, mm -hmm. Pastor Greater um, Grace Church in um, Center Point. Um, I'm sure Knox, Pastor of the Great Galilee MB mm -hmm. Church, Florence, mm -hmm. Alabama. And is owner be of the radio station. <laughs> our event uh, specialist and uh, – my wife's cousin from uh, um, uh, Columbus, Ohio, just mm -hmm. had a moment. She uh, is coming, and she's going to be our our main her, our speaker. She's mm. pointing to marriages. And uh, we have um, Chris Little and Wendy is going to be speaking on tomorrow. He's doing a session. Uh, Apostle Fitzgerald and Pastor Katina Fitzgerald is doing a session. Me and my wife's doing a session. And um, someone come to listen Sunday. Oh, yeah. So tonight's going to be like a date night. We plan to do the oh. not so newly newlywed game. Um, your pastor and the owner of the radio station mm -hmm. has donated us a four night, three, four day, three night trip to Gatlinburg. So all you got to do is come. We're going to draw okay. names. We have a big screen TV we're giving away. We got all kind of um, eateries like Texas Roadhouse, Logan, Juicy for Seafood, Crab, Stanfield. Uh, we're giving away two hundred dollars in gas. All it is, all you gotta do is just come. Uh, Lord have mercy. I mean, wait. I'm sorry. I was. Do I don't <laughs> have a significant <laughs> other. I'm just like, wow. That sounds like an evening of fun. I mean, just you. It's a date night. It's a date night. It tonight will be date night. Yeah, tonight, tonight will be night like night. Date night. It is being catered by um, Soul um, Thad Rao. Thad Rao. He's our praise and worship leader. Mm -hmm. He has a restaurant downtown called Soul Wingery. On popular, and he's doing the catering. We're having steak, uh, mashed potatoes, gravy, green beans, salad, rolls, and desserts. And okay, my so 17 year <laughs> old is doing all of the desserts, almost all of them. Oh my so God. We're excited about it. Yeah. And here we're talking about doing the healthy living around here, but I maybe know, I don't I care. I could taste test anything. I, 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 <laughs> I'm cheating this weekend myself because I'm been on a diet. And, uh, and that's so well, you look good. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I lost 18 back. pounds since uh, last now. month and uh, been eating, wow. eating right, trying to do good. I was in the hospital um, last month. I got out on the 23rd. I always remember that. I was in there like a day and a half, two days. Uh, blood pressure was out the roof, um, stroke level. I think when mm -mm. I got to the ER, it was like 210 over 104. Jesus. And Doc told me I had to make some lifestyle, staying lifestyle changes and eat eat healthier. So we're, we're doing Isn't something that else. something because you uh, a person's always feeling good. They don't think mm -hmm. that 
you know, but see, that's a silent thing. Right, that's right, 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 that right. High right. blood pressure and right. diabetes. And especially is with um, black Af- black Americans, mm-hmm. African Americans, we really don't realize. And I, I didn't. Uh, I know this ain't what we're supposed to be talking about, but no, we this is what we do. Like it's live. Maybe I'll come back one day. Oh, you got me back. <laughs> oh Lord, but I just said that with some authority. I don't have. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. It, he he has entrusted you to trust and to believe that you would <laughs> bring the right people on. Yeah. But I didn't realize it until he had me to write down everything I ate for a whole week mm. and come back and see him in a week, and I was so hurt because when he was going over, this is no good. Potato chips and. Uh, snicker and a snack. I was drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper and sweet mm. tea and McDonald's double cheeseburger and big fry and apple pie three times a week. And, mm. and, it, I, and, and you, we really don't realize what we're doing until we stop That's and we right. write it down. And I was like, oh my and goodness. And then you see and you go, oh my God. And, the, and what he told me is when I start to diet, he says everything that tastes good is nine times out of ten not good for you. But the stuff that tastes bad because it's like cauliflower and steamed vegetables. But see, I like stuff like breads. that. Oh, you could do good. <laughs> <laughs> you could do good. You're going to live do. long <laughs> life then. <laughs> you know, I, I, that's what my nephew said to me once. He said, and his daughter, she said, you know what? I think you're going to die healthy. I'm like, <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, you know, <laughs> that's I think. a good thing. That's good a good thing. thing. Good thing. But um, th- they want us to take a quick break. I am so not done with you. Oh I, I'm excited because of the date night and because of this whole marriage thing. You Shalonda know? is here. She's going to come okay. and talk to you. I want her to tell her story. Can I give just a brief snippet mm-hmm. of what she she, she lost her husband on vacation. Uh, he was a pastor and from Columbus. It's my wife's cousin. And he she they were on vacation in um, um, over uh, Lord overseas mm-hmm. said, on the island. Uh, and um, he passed away suddenly. When sick, nothing. And the l- she feels the Lord, let her with four girls, the Lord instilled her to pour into marriages. Mm. She had a Facebook page, and my wife was following her. And I looked at her one night, and I said, we got to get her the recipe. Right. So that's kind of sort of how she became our um, person that we got. And I hope I'm not leaving off somebody that's on, on for that's the night. That's okay, because guess Cause what? Because I know Miss Johnson's, uh, Leilani Johnson's mother's doing the decorating. We got a lady from um, Cortland that's doing the um, decorating. And um, I don't remember the names right But off. this is what we're going to do, because I know she we're going to have to take a break and bring her on. I'm asking you now, do okay. you d- find it in your schedule that maybe sometime next week you could come back, we'll have all the names, and then you could tell me how the event went. Okay. Okay. okay? Yeah, we'd love to. I, okay. I'm going to tell you a little bit. Of, I've got time to tell you my story. Mm, my producer's telling okay. me it, we've got to wrap it up. Okay. Listen, that's why we're bringing him back. But you are listening to WKAX 1500 AM, the Winning Worship Radio Show, and we'll be right back. Oh, I hear me. I can hear all of y'all. There you go. Testing. Oh, good gracious. She, you can push it back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your name? Shalonda Owens. Okay. This is Shalonda Owens. And she's going to give, you know what? Because I didn't know you guys were going to, if you are going to make it or not. Yes. And I don't have any of the information. That's okay. No, because uh, like I was telling Pastor Mario. Yeah. I would love it if next week you guys could come back again to l- let us know how the event went, 
who shot John, who stabbed Jane, you know, yes, that yes, kind of thing. Yes, so tell yes. me about yourself, though. Yes, my name is Shalonda Owens, and I am from Columbus, Ohio. Um, I'm and a you're mother. beautiful. Thank you. I mean, Thank you're beautiful. You. Not only your spirit, but girl, you. <laughs> Thank okay, you. I'm sorry. I'm going to let her talk now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. But I am a proud mother of four beautiful daughters and an entrepreneur, um, uh, owner of a preschool and mm. day camp. So I love just working with children. And I'm um, just a lover of God, just a lover oh. of the things of God. And I love love. Um, I love love is my favorite word. You're gonna make me jump over there, girl. Jump, jump, Cause honey. I'm, cause I'm telling you, I've never heard anyone else say that but me. <laughs> that I say, I love love. I do. And I God do. is love, but I mean, I love love. Yeah, I do too. Mm. I do too. Everything that love represents. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is kind. It keeps no track of wrong. Mm -mm. It endures it forgives. all things. Come on, it here. forgives. Yes, it mm. does. So I'm a lover of love. Mm. Uh, but you know, as uh, Pastor Mario mentioned, about six months ago, we were in uh, Cabo San Lucas mm -hmm. for our family reunion. Mm. All of my children, my husband's side of the family, just having just a good time. And we woke. My husband woke up. Uh, we got there on the Thursdays, and mm -hmm. he, woke, he woke up that Friday morning, and we were headed to breakfast. And he says to me, honey, I feel like, um, I'm, I'm, uh, he said, I feel like I'm about to faint. And I turned around and looked at him, and I said, honey, stop playing. Mm. And mm. as he uh, was trying to utter more words, I saw him lean, um, to lean on the wall and begin to stiff arm his arm mm. himself down. And at that time, my husband was having a massive heart attack. Oh, my Jesus. And, uh, of course, we did CPR. We worked on it. But my husband passed away uh, while we were um, uh, at our family reunion. And so the girls and I, that was, again, like the first day. Mm. Uh, we the hadn't even first been there day. 24 hours, actually. We hadn't even been there 24 hours. And um, wow. the girls and I, it was a seven-day uh, trip, vacation, family re family reunion, and we decided to stay for the remaining days. And um, so, mm. yes, 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 yes. So, you know, throughout my grieving journey, I had noticed that the more I gave, mm -hmm. the more I served, and the more I shared with people, I was receiving so much joy and strength. Wow. I, Come on, say yet it. I was grieving but I was not, uh, it's like I couldn't stay stuck. I couldn't stay low. I couldn't stay down. You couldn't let it consume I, you. It, God wouldn't let it. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't let mm -hmm. me consume me. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't let me get buried in grief, right. stuck in grief. So I just kept giving and sowing and sharing. And uh, one day I was just sitting in my room, and the Holy Spirit said, get on Facebook and wow. begin to beseech begin to share with married couples how important it is mm -hmm. to love each other daily. Oh, Lord. As though mm -hmm. there is no, no tomorrow. tomorrow. I know it. As though mm -hmm. there is as though there is no tomorrow. Mm. And girl, I mean, I ain't have no script. I had it was coming from my heart. And I began to tell the married couples, you love your spouse. Mm -hmm. You forgive your spouse. Mm -hmm. You serve your spouse as though there is no tomorrow. Mm. And I said that where Ooh, I'm at Jesus. now, I said, you think, I said, my husband, I was married 28 years. Oh, God. And we were not just roommates. Mm -hmm. We were friends. We were lovers. Mm -hmm. We were partners. Yes, Honey, Lord. we had a beautiful thing. Not perfect. But a beautiful, beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And I said, you think, I said, now that my husband's gone, you think I'm thinking about an argument? You think I'm thinking about right. bills? You mm -hmm. think I'm thinking about anything mm -hmm. that we tend to magnify mm -hmm. when we're together and we got right. a marriage? I said, I'm not magnifying any of this. Mm -mm. I'm not thinking about any of that. So I'm encouraging you. Don't let. Don't let it. It's not that serious. It's not. Because if something happens, in a blink of an eye. Which which did. Which did. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Then in that moment, were you thinking about 
I told him to go down to the utility company and yet I said, how many times I got to tell you the same thing? Sweetheart, (laughs) sweetheart. Does any of that matter? Not any of it matters then when it initially happened Mm -hmm. or now. Mm -hmm. I'm not thinking about anything my husband did not do right. Right. And so I just encourage And it sounds as though, and I didn't mean to interrupt you, you excite me. But I didn't, uh, and I'm sure during the course of your marriage, those 28 years, and like you said, it wasn't perfect, but it was beautiful. Yes. That somewhere in there is uh, that you just said, look, because I've done this before. Mm -hmm. As it's about to escalate, I go, wait a minute, hold up. Come on. Let's, Let's sit and think about this. And then I don't like to go to bed mad. That is beautiful. You know, I can't. And I said, look, I promise if we need to talk about this again, yes. let's let's do it tomorrow. Yes. But it's not promised to us, but let's do it tomorrow because yes. right yes. now we got this moment. That's it. And, and, and I, you, you know, and really later he got sick, not, not real bad or anything, right, sure. but we had to go to the emergency room and it was about him changing his diet. And so then he... Uh, you know, at that moment, were we concerned about that? Not at all, were you? Mm-mm. And I had all. just told him, we don't have to do this. Yeah, but see, you never listen. You tell your side, and I don't get it. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and and I've learned that if I'm going to make it to 103, i got to slow down the heart rate. i got to. It, 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 it doesn't matter. you got to so pick your battles. you got to pick That's your it. battles. And, I, and now you were talking, I thought about, you know, our highs and our lows mm-hmm. in our marriage. And five years ago, I gave my husband a kidney. Mm. He went into kidney failure. Wow, come on now. And it was very difficult for each of us. But I made up in my mind Mm -hmm. that I was going to love this Mm. man unconditionally. Mm -hmm. Not Mm -hmm. based on conditions. Not based on what he can do for me financially. Not based on what he can do for me sexually. Mm -hmm. Not based on what he can do for me in any other way. I made my mind up. You know what? I love him from a real place. Mm, and I'm going to love on. him with the love of Christ. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to love him according to Corinthians' love. Mm. Not according to this world's love. Mm-mm. This world's love is conditional. Conditional but and God's fake. God's agape love is unconditional, mm-hmm. baby. Mm. Whether you do anything for me, I'm mm. going to love you. Mm-hmm. And that's why, to this day, I have no regrets. None. 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 I loved him with everything I had. I can him. feel it right now. Girl, I had. I loved him with everything. I, I mean, I can enemies. feel it yeah. right now because it, I experienced it. Mm-hmm. Like people should be able to experience what you're saying when it's coming from a real mm, place. from a real place. Come on, you ain't just talking Mm-mm. about what you heard. I experienced this. I lived this. Because see, right now, me and my imaginary friend. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Until. <laughs> Me and this man, and, and, and he even told me, he said, when I manifest into something real, Come on. this is what it is about. Yes. Because I, listen, I refuse to accept anything less than what I know God Baby. has for me. Because I've already been through all that other mess. Yes. And so right now I'm looking for the, my imaginary to manifest into the reality of the man that God will send me. I'm not looking. Yes. He going to come up and say, remember, because I'm looking for that, like, our spirits knew each other, yes. but our souls have been longing for this day. That is so this is beautiful. So that's what I'm saying. When you talk like that, I yes. go, she's had it before. I've had it. It's I real. know it, it's real. It's so real. I'm, I'm waiting on it. Yes, it's real. And that's what I loved about my husband. More than outer appearance, right. I loved his spirit. His spirit. And so people are quick to say, that's not my type. Uh, he don't look like what I want him to look like and all of this. Honey, y'all better tap into that spirit, man. You better tap into mm-hmm. that spirit. Mm-hmm. See who God is trying to give you. Who God is trying to give who you. God because is I want someone who's going to adore me. Come on. Because I'm going to adore you. Yes. And that, that like you said, what I, one thing I love that you said is that he was your friend. Oh, baby. He yes, was your yes. lover. Yes. He was just he, your everything. Yes. And I like that, that when you could sit around and talk with somebody and it's like, you just sitting on the couch and you're like, I think I need to soak my feet. I'll do it. I'll yes. rub your feet. Oh. Yes. You know, I mean, just really. Just presence. Yeah, just, just the presence. Just presence. Or look over there and go, oh, I love you. Yes. Yes, <laughs> honey. Yes. But I can't live without you. 
<laughs> I, you know what? This, th- I wish I could make this thing. I Aww. think it's a couple's thing only, and really, my imaginary person, no one would see him. So it's he. he but I challenge you on that. Yes, it is a couple's thing, but it's also for those who are preparing to be married, I'm who preparing. desire to be married. Mm-hmm. I believe you can glean. I believe you can learn mm. from this event. So mm-hmm. it's not for those who are already married. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't limit it to that uh, because you got to know what to do when you get married. Like prior to, right? you need to be learning mm-hmm. and preparing. Mm-hmm. So I think this would also be a help for those who are not married. So he, uh, Pastor Mario is saying it's a two- Night Today, even tonight. so tonight is uh, it sounded like a date night yes, and a lot of fun oh my yes, god yes and yes. so what does tomorrow bring tomorrow it brings um, breakout sessions so they're mm. going to talk about specific topics um, reg- re- related to marriage mm-hmm. um, and then I'm just going to share a little bit a uh, little bit more you know this. again like because I can feel that they're going to come and cut us soon. Is it possible? I'm not sure where you live that I could uh, have you come back. Absolutely. Because, uh, like I, I would pass. Uh, God bless you. you. I tell you, if I get up and touch you now, <laughs> I'll knock. I'll break everything in here. I'm so excited. <laughs> but the, listen, I want you guys back because I want us to have more time to. How did the event go? And yes. and you know we could talk for a whole hour. Yes, we can. To you be know, continued. to be continued. <laughs> Who is the lovely lady standing right there? That is actually my cousin. That okay, is she doesn't want to get over here, does she? <laughs> okay, she just shook her head no, like uh uh-uh, uh, and don't mention me again. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That's <laughs> what That's is her name? Lady McCullough. Lady McCullough. We we have her in the house. She's a. I love her smile and I her little see. energy over there. I love but her beauty. Yeah. I Literally. can feel the presence of love oh, in yes. here. Okay, they're telling me to wrap it okay. up. Okay. And th- what is your name again? Shalonda Owens. Shalonda. Shalonda Owens, my, n- my new spiritual friend. Good God <laughs> Almighty. I can't wait to get off the air because I'm going to wrestle her to the ground. <laughs> Listen, you've been listening to WKAX. Ooh, I feel energized. <laughs> w- Look at me sitting up straight. WKAX, well 1500 AM, the winning worship radio show. The faith frequency on your dial. Have a beautiful and blessed Weekend and a Friday, I wish you love and peace. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Ooh, you told me you would be something. I did. Lord have mercy. Oh, you don't know what you're doing. Oh, God. It's all good. It's all good. You don't know. 